What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Angelito again. Um, me and him were supposed to have a Wi-Fi battle yesterday, and uh, it kept disconnecting on us, and it was a very good start to the battle. A Hatterene, that's the new Pokemon that he's bringing to the table. Interesting. So, um, the last time we battled, and really quick, just before I move forward, yes, I cut my hair, and I mentioned that on the video we were supposed to record where we kept getting deceived but um yes i got a new haircut so it may look a little different to you guys but anyways uh we started off with victini and he's not bringing the yuxi this time so that's a little bit different and scary to me so it's gonna be a different battle a very different battle what i'll do is i'm just gonna start off with the jolt and this is an Xbox, so don't press B like I'm doing right now. But um, I'm going to go Jolteon. Or should I go T? I think I'm going to go Jolteon. Because he's probably expecting for me to start with the size. And he's probably going to start with the boom. So with that being said, I'm going to start Amoongus. I'm going to start Amoongus and go from there. Yeah. We're going to try to counter predict his, count his lead. So as I was saying... Uh, we were well, I'm probably going to post my reaction to that to that first Wi-Fi battle after this battle So at the end of this video, so I got another Wi-Fi battle with my boy Angelito and it's a pretty good battle. So His gastronaut is is off the charts my boy. Okay, so he starts with the Hatterene. I'm gonna go among us the among us and then right off the bat I honestly just sludge bomb I, I, he's probably gonna trick room here and if he does so be it. I'm not afraid of no trick room That's for sure. This is the whole trick room team that we're against here and trick room teams can be a little bit scary Especially if you let them set up against you, but um, There's a lot of things I want to talk about gotta adjust my chair a little bit um, How have you guys been? I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been out and about and doing things and some things came up that uh, put my video uploading schedule behind so yeah all right so trick room comes in and by the way i'm trying to kind of bring up all the points as that as that i brought originally on the last wi-fi battle um because i just want you guys to kind of get updated with that i'm a salt best my boy that's not gonna do anything nothing my boy it gets me these well he gets the special defense drop so it's all good i'm just gonna sledge bomb that should does not take out the hattering so I'm honestly just gonna sledge bomb again. We're gonna talk. We're toxic style. We're going to stall out these turns of trick room. But as I was saying, Misty Explosion. We take that. Come on, we gotta take this. We'll take it easy. Does nothing. But as I was saying, um, I got some new videos planned for you guys instead of just Pokemon. So I decided I am going to go ahead and just explain Band my channel. I want to play more games that are not necessarily PG, so to speak. So in other words, I want to play a bunch of other games that you guys probably do not expect. I'm going to go into the Seismitoad here, um, such as Among Us. I know I'm probably way behind the hype for Among Us, especially when it first released for the mobile device and, and things of that nature. But I really want to play that game with my boys on my YouTube channel. And I also got another video coming up with my boy. Um, I won't mention his name quite yet, but Fire Blast hits. We should be able to take this. We're going to play Pacify. That is a horror game. Horror games are actually my favorite genre ever. So we're going to play some Pacify here within the next couple of weeks. And that's going to be the funnest thing in the world. So um, I almost thought the Diancie had Magic Bounce, but it does not have Magic Bounce. So what we're going to do here... Should I just Toxic? Should I just Toxic? I kind of want to. How valuable are the Stealth Rocks for me? He switches a lot, so pretty valuable. We're just gonna, is this Quick Claw? What is this? Yeah, Quick Claw. Very interesting. Steam Eruption. I'm Water Absorbed, my boy. Thanks for the delicious, nutritious Steam Eruption. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the Stealth Rock. As I was saying, though, keep, keep getting off track with, when don't I get off track, though? Like, seriously. But, um yeah pacify is a horror game that i'm very excited to play we're just gonna earth power here 
and you guys should be excited to play with me if you guys are excited for that make sure you subscribe because like i said i want to play a bunch of new games as much as new games as i as i want and can like raft is also another game i'm a big pc player and i actually play with an xbox controller on my pc which is why i keep getting confused and pressing this instead of a um but yeah uh we're gonna play some raft some minecraft we're gonna play a lot of good games coming up in the near future so obviously he's probably either gonna a u-turn or b grassy glide i'm not gonna over predict i'm just gonna go to my answer to ruler boom which is the among us and we're gonna take that attack what do we do after the ruler boom you may ask we're just gonna sledge bomb i mean he has the diancy in the back and Sledge Bomb just has a chance to poison. Poison damage is always good damage, I like to say. So he withdraws double switch. Very good. Here comes the Porygon 2. Very, very interesting. Probably packing the Ice Beam is my um, my prediction as far as that goes. I'm not afraid. Oh. I thought this was going to be a download, but it's a trace. Very cool. I should have stayed into size. So, with that being said and done, what do I do against this Porygon? Because I don't want to go into jo uh, Halucha, obviously. I do not want that. I'm just going to stay in, and I'm going to Sludge Bomb. I really want to try to get a poison on this thing. If he sets up, I got the clear smog for him, so I'm not really afraid of it. Okay. Trick Room again. Oh. It's a good thing I didn't stay in. Or, I obviously stayed in, but it's a good thing I didn't go into Halucha like I wanted to originally. That's, uh, that scares me a little bit. We're just gonna Sledge Bomb again. We're gonna Sledge Bomb it up as much as we can. Here we go. Amoongus goes Sledge Bomb Poison. Nope, still no. Nope. Here comes the Teleport. What are you teleporting into? Teleport Porygon 2. Unexpected. That was really unpredictable. I thought he was going to go for an ice beam or something like that, but teleport out of all things. He takes the... Not, he, does he get the regenerator? Or does it just wear off? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. I got to keep that in the back of my mind because I tend to be very forgetful. Who's this? The Wish Granner, Diancy. I like that. I like that switch. Honestly, one of his best switches. I don't... I'm, I'm not afraid of Diancy. I really am not. I'm just going to Giga Drain here. It's super effective. Diamond Storm. We dodge! That's what I'm talking about, Amoongus. Just hit the delicious nutritious um, Giga Drain. I'm not losing against him this time. I have a really bad reputation of losing against my viewers. And that stops today. Diamond Storm. It hits this time. We should be able to take it. At least two of them. Three. We take three of them. So we're just gonna sledge bomb here. Please get the burn. Or not the poison. Still no poison damage, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna take the Diancy out. That's what I'm gonna do. I am not afraid of no diamond storm here. So we're just gonna Among Us MVP! This boy is uh is a little he's a fun guy. <laughs> Probably not funny to you guys, but he's a fun Pokemon to you, seriously. You guys should use him. All right, he comes into Porygon 2. Okay, now my question is, what Trick Room turn is this? So yes, he did get Regenerator, and he's gonna get it again. So that's pretty that's that's pretty good for my opponent. We're just gonna Giga Drain again. That does some pretty good damage. It's a crit. That's why. It's a crit, my boys. It's a crit. Okay, so Energy Drain. We get this uh, this uh, HP restoration, and of course, so does the Porygon, even though it's floating in midair. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Honestly, we go Halucha here. I do not care who he goes into. We go Halucha. Is it? It's been more than five turns. Does that Rillaboom have the, t the Terrain Extender? Oh, no, you don't, my boy. You're going to want to switch here. I'm telling you that right now. You're going to want to switch here. Okay, I didn't count the turns, unfortunately, so it's probably Choice Banded Rillaboom, though. I'm almost certain it is. So what I'm going to do here, I don't really have much for the Slow King, but I think I'm going to Swords Dance. 
Or should I just close combat? We're gonna sword dance it up here. He withdraws. Okay, what are you going out into? Rillaboom? Who is this? Oh, okay. It's the Volcanian. Okay, we're gonna sword dance it up. Quick Claw is a thing, obviously. We do not want to... Well, I'm, I'm staying in no matter what, and I'm just gonna close combat to activate my, my White Herb. And that gets knocked out. Bingo! Bingo is his name -o. That's what I'm talking about. That doesn't matter, because I got the White Herb. Oh, did I take the item off? I did not, okay. Woo! I almost got a little bit scared of there. Okay, so here comes our unburden being activated. And I think we can get a Halucha sweep going. This is a different strategy rather than using the seeds or even the power herb. We're using a white herb close combat Halucha. And I'm excited about that. Maybe we can get a sweep going. I'm hoping we can get some kind of sweep going with Halucha. We're playing a good we're playing a good Pokemon game right now. Very, very good. Alright, here comes Porygon 2, which I'm not afraid of. He did get the regenerator. But at plus two, I'm pretty... I'm out of in nature. I should be able to do some damage, right? I, I believe I should be able to do some damage. And I'm just going to close combat here. Close combat. Here we go. Knock it out. Yes, my boys. Adamant nature, Halucha. Woo! I'm excited now. I love Halucha. Halucha has been one of my favorite Pokemon since I first laid eyes on it. When I was... I was playing Pokemon Y... When I first saw Halucha, and, it, and there was a, a random trainer battle that used the Halucha, and I was like, what? I want a Luchador. I really do. All right. Here comes DK Metcalf, or Donkey Kong. I like DK. He, that's messed up. Stop that. That's messed up. Okay. All right. I'm just going to Brave Bird here. Every time, DK Metcalf is my favorite football player. Him and Russell Wilson. For sure. Call me a homer, because I'm a Seahawks fan, but... I love DK Metcalf. He's my boy. All right. Grassy Glide. We should be able to take this. We do. And here comes the Brave Bird. Here comes the Brave Bird. My boys. Halucha put in that work. I don't even know who the thumbnail should be. We'll have to find out. This is why. You know, Big Teeny always gives you the victory. It gives you the W. I know that's just Pokedex, but I'm starting to believe it. I really am. Okay. Slow King comes out. He still has a Hatterene, right? Or is this your last Pokemon? You still have the Diancy. That's who you have. I'm honestly just going to Brave Bird here. We're going to Brave Bird, obviously. We probably won't take the Slow King out, but we'll do some pretty... We take it out. Wow, Halucha. MVP of this battle, easily. And then Diancy comes out. I'm honestly just going to go with my boy Among Us. That's it. Wow, we, we didn't even have to bring out the Jolteon, Haxorus, or the Victini. Wow. Uh, I don't think I've ever won the Vizus much before. Okay. Diancy comes out. Takes some damage from the rocks. Pops the Citrus Berry, I believe. No, this is... I think it is Citrus Berry. Oh, La Papa. La Papa Berry. We're just going to get a drain here. And that's game. That should be game. Assault Vest and Moongus. Very underrated Pokemon with the Assault Vest. I know people tend to run Spore and Moongus, but I really, really, really like the um, the Assault Vest and Moongus better. It just fits my playstyle. That's it. That is it for this Wi-Fi battle. You guys stay tuned after this, after my outro, because actually, before I do my outro, I'm probably going to edit that in, so... You guys are going to see two clips right after this Wi-Fi battle in which me and Anelito have two Wi-Fi battles. Um, I have something in my chest here. My apologies. But we're going to have two, we, we had two Wi-Fi battles and um, I'm actually saving the Gastrodon for later. So don't get your hopes up for that one, my boy. But um, we had two Wi-Fi battles that started off really, really well. Um, it keeps disconnecting on us. I don't, I don't know why, but... That was the case, but that is going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you always leave a like, as always. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's been a while since I recorded, but make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys vote for your MVP, MVP, most valuable Pokemon 
in this Wi-Fi battle. I feel like it was Halucha. Halucha put in some massive work today. And it just proved to me why it's one of my favorite Pokemon once again. And also subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.